How does the oil get up into the cylinder head? This is how. On the block, there are two holes. One for the head bolt, and the other one is, a, is an oil gallery coming from the filter. Now, on the main surface of the head, there is a recessed teardrop shape that encompasses the head bolt and the oil gallery from the block. The oil comes up that gallery, hits that dead end at the mating surface at that teardrop shape, and is forced towards the bolt hole. Comes up the bolt hole, and then is forced through the oil gallery at the base of this bottom half of the cap. And this is to show you that This is to show you that there is an oil gallery down there. Just look right here and you'll see some movement, the string movement. You see that? You see that? That is the weed eater string. So at the base there is an oil gallery right there. Comes up the bolt, the oil comes up the bolt hole through that ba that gallery at the base, and comes out that orifice, the orifice, and the rod bearing clearances and the main bearing clearances are what provide the oil pressure to the system. Nothing after this orifice has to do with the oil pressure. The amount of oil that comes out of this orifice is dependent on the RPM of the engine. The lower the RPM, the lower the flow of the oil coming out of the orifice. After this orifice, the oil comes into the upper half of the cap and fills the whole freaking valve train assembly through the, through the rails, which have all kinds of holes in them to incorporate the bolts for the caps and the holes that feed the camshaft and all the valves and all everything. The whole valve uh, assembly, the valve train assembly. Nothing after this orifice contributes to the oil pressure of the system. It is before the orifice the orifice itself, before the orifice, and the rod bearings and the main bearings.